Hello everyone and welcome back to uh my my channel. I guess. Uh and first of all, um sorry about all the uh the no videos the past three days. I got hit with kinda a big hit of depression, so I I uh I I wasn't really able to, you know, make videos or whatever. So I apologize. Feeling good now. And let's get ready to uh to talk about Transformers Legacy. Sorry, Transformers Haslab Victory Saber with Holly and Fire, who I am calling Pyro because I just think it's a better sounding name. And we're uh, we're gonna actually talk about the two micromasters first to get them out of the bloody way. And here we have them. Here is fire. Just in a adorable little you know, fire truck. And you extend the crane out. Oh yeah. So there's that. And then here's Holly, this annoying little shit from the fucking from the uh, the anime. Annoying little bastard cuz I only listen like I I was only able to get through I think the first two episodes of the English dub because I can't find the Japanese dub and I'd very much prefer listening to the Japanese characters than having to constantly hear these two very annoying child act, uh, child characters uh, for Holly and Jan. Also for some reason they kept calling Jinrai friggin Optimus Prime. Like two totally different characters in the continuity but whatever. Uh, yeah so uh, nice little uh, I guess police car. They actually did a very like I I very much like the car mode. Uh, robot, as you can see, is you know just a robot. The uh, ball joints on this thing are shite. Like they do not want to stay on for nothing. And I have noticed a lot of people have the same problem. So I'm glad I'm not the only one. But yeah. So there is Holly, and he's actually like. I will not lie, I do like the colors on this guy. I just wish the bloody bastard would stay up without me, you know, having to threat, uh, threaten ripping off one of his legs. There we go. And then, god damn it, Holly. Even in real life, you're being a dick. What the hell? Um, and then here's Fire. Pyro. And... He's still he's actually a lot better than uh, than Holly, uh, just in terms of like tolerances. Like really, the the leg only broke off because uh, I mishandled it. Yeah. So here is fire and like I I actually really like that. It kind of gives off like a um, an Orion Pax kind of Earth mode like fire uh, Orion Pax fire convoy kind of vibe to me. Just with the, uh, the way that the head is done. I, uh, I don't know. That, that's the vibe that I was getting. And so here are the two, uh, here are the two little micro men. And they are now binned and Pyro is dead. <laughs> I killed Pyro. Oh, well. But yes, so let's talk about <laughs> the two big boys here. Yes. Ah, <laughs> um, Actually, you know what? Before we get into the wonderful main event that is Star Saber, oh, we're going to talk about a Victory Leo, who is also technically Jinrai. Uh, yeah. So, essentially, in Victory, uh, Star Saber and Dazarus, they, uh, they was going out at it. Them's was fighting. Them's was fighting the good fight. And, uh... Star Saber was about to lose. Jinrai did the Hot Rod thing and actually did what a lot of fans feel like Hot Rod should have done. Died, <laughs> essentially. Um, they then essentially just rebuilt him into Victory Leo. And now Victory Leo and um, Star Saber can combine. And you know what? That's pretty damn cool. However, I am not a fan of the head. Um... I've never been a fan of like the the head forming 
the head because it's literally just a lion head tilted up and oh hey look there's a there's the man there's uh there's the lion boy yeah it's cool isn't it no no it's not but aside from that like the figure itself is grand i i love it it's great i never thought i was going to like uh victory leah i didn't when i saw the promo shots i was like eh, sure whatever he, he combines with Star Saber to become uh, Victory Saber. Okay, you know what? That's all we're going to do with him. I'm going to either have him in Lion Mode and just kind of have Primal Riding on him. Because this was back when my display had Optimus just kind of uh, Primal. Yeah, Optimus Primal just kind of standing around and Nemesis Primal Riding on <laughs> riding on top of Megatron. Uh, it was weird. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, honestly, I, I very much like this guy. Uh, I never thought I was going to, but I, I love it. I love this thing so much. Um, he comes with his two uh, kind of plasma cannon thingy, plasma shooters, I guess. And an inter another interesting fact about this, and this is just for, uh, I think, the Japanese market uh, toy-wise... They actually made a lore reason as to why each of the gun tips is red. And it's hilarious. So Victory Leo, for some unknown reason, while he's, he's fighting a war, decides, I'm going to paint the tips of me cannons red so that they look like toys. That way, when the Decepticons see me running up to them, they're going to be like, oh, this idiot's running up to us with uh with toy guns. We don't have to worry about that. <laughs> let let him uh, let him play around. We'll uh we'll focus our attention over here to the real people who are you know actually fighting us. And then you know he destroys them with a V-lock with a shot from the V-lock cannon. So yeah, Japanese, you guys are amazing and so weird. Um, I love it. But yeah, so for articulation, head is kind of on technically on a ball joint, uh, but you only really get side to side, and even then it's kind of close just because of the cat ears. Uh, he can actually look up thanks to the uh, the transformation hinge here. Uh, you can kind of sort of get him to look down, also breaking that transformation hinge. Arms can go out that far, so you can get him to do a suck it to Magnus. Uh, you get bicep rotation, arms can go full 360, and you get over 90 degree bend here at the knee, as well as wrist rotation. Nothing at the waist, just due to the fact that he has a giant slit running through his entire body. Uh, legs can go out that far, back that far, and first of all, those clicks are beautiful, and out that far. You get a wonderful... Uh, knee bent however you can break it and give him like even more knee but why would you because that is a perfect knee bend and then you also get a uh, toe you get a wee bit of toe, toe movement which is wonderful yeah so this guy has two modes and uh actually you know what sorry getting ahead of myself for comparison here he is next to ultura magnus Who has to stand at a very awkward angle due to his stubby feet. And yeah, you can just kind of see he is, uh, he is essentially leader class. The boy is leader class. That is awesome. Yeah, so, uh, let's just, yeah, let's get to work on the transformation for this guy. Alright, so to transform this guy, all you're going to want to do is fold down this faceplate and flip in the tusks. Then grab the elbows, or grab the arms, get the elbows, and then you want to rotate the fists like so. And then flip out the paw. That way it just kind of, it kind of helps with the, uh, with the illusion. It sells the illusion. You don't have to do it. It's just something that I like to do. So you do that. You're going to arc the wings and connect. Oh, So next, you're going to want to bring out 
these kind of quote unquote tail pieces, connect the legs and then open up, open up the back panels here, close everything down and then collapse it all into place. Finally, you want to take the, uh, oh, flip up the feet, finally take up the uh, back sections here and just kind of rotate the legs around and then unhinge the paws like so. And then just kind of swerve it around a wee bit just to make sure you got everything. And here we have Victory Leo in line. Oh, nope. We got something. They tell you to unfurl the mane. Kind of undo the mane. The mane does not want to be undone, so we're not going to do it because it's a pain in the ass. But yes, here he is, and he is an adorable, blocky robo-lion that is complete and utterly not as fierce as he looks in the friggin' anime. Like, this thing looks like you, like you can cuddle it. The one in the anime, not so much. Yeah, so you can also uh, close up the V-lock, turn it around, and then you want to connect this square hole here. Into this, uh, into this port back here. Just connect that, and there we go. Now he has a giant bloody cannon on the back, on his bum end. Yeah. So there's that. And so for comparison, here he is with Magnus. Once again, my Ultra Magnus. And yeah, giant lion, giant truck. Whoa. And now we go down to the really, really weird uh, transformation. So first thing you're going to want to do, take off the cannon from the bum end and just kind of switch it around. So flip it like so. And then if they haven't already... Knock off your cannon. Uh, flip back around the legs. Back onto their proper blocks. Keep the damn cannon on. Because you're doing a review show and nobody wants to see that. So then unfurl the wings. Like so. Rotate the back cannons. Then you want to take the arms here. And you want to... So there are two uh, two slots on the wings. There's a slot here and a slot here. And then there's a tab on each of the forearms. God damn it. And you just want to tab it into the arm. Or tab the arm into the wing. So it should... Like that. And then... There we go. This one does not like to stay, huh? Unfortunately. But, well, neither of them do. But, I mean, that's what happens when you only got one bloody <laughs> uh, connection piece. And then they say flip the head over like that. I don't like that. So, normally, I just kind of flip the lion head all the way around. Just to do that. So, it kind of looks like he's targeting the freaking thing himself. But, yeah. So, here you have him in space jet mode. And, yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a thing, all right. It's definitely a thing. Um, once again, Magnus truck thing. But that is it. A for victory, Leo. And he will only come back when it is time to combine. And speaking of, here we have the. Beast himself, Star Sebodis. <laughs> oh God, I love this thing. Uh, design obviously. I know everybody has made the friggin' joke, but yes, this was designed by the man who made the original Gundam show. Um, as a Gundam fan, I'm uh, abhorred to re uh, to realize I forgot the name. Yeah. I'm alright, twit, ain't I? 
<laughs> uh, but yeah, so I, I love this thing so much. Um, actually, though, there is one th uh, small, like my absolutely bloody minor QC issue that I had when I took mine out of the packaging. This antenna was on wrong. So it would fold all the way down and then this side was fine. This side I could actually fold like the antenna all the way down to his shoulder, but I was able to you know just pop it off, pop it back on, we're good to go. Yeah, so that's it. That's really my only QC issue with this guy. Uh we'll go into what I thought was a QC issue back when I first like first got this guy. But I have had no problems with it. We're going to take a look at a sword. F oh, well, I guess we're going to take a look at the entire shield first. But yeah, so this is his shield, and I... Raise it up. Raise up the camera. There we go. Yeah, so this is the shield. I love it. It, it screams Gundam. And... I just so happen to have an old Gundam shield from uh, the... Yeah, you can see where they influence like the old <laughs> the old Gundam shield. I wish I had the uh, the RX seventy eight because like that that's like the this is like a perfect kind of giant giant robot uh, version of it. Yeah, so as you can see, the sword can be stored in the shield. It just pegs in with this peg here into this port up here. Um, and you can have Star Saber actually holding his shield. Like that. But, I mean, that's just daft. The man is a giant robot. He needs his hands for fighting. Which is why you have the clamps. The clamps that clamp. And they clamp onto his arms, just like so. So that his shield can be held by his shoulder. And that way he can pew pew with the bang bangs. Turned into MGO there for a second. My bad. Uh, or you can have the Master Swordsman wielding his sword. And something I really love is just the, the shoulder articulation of this guy. Like, just look, look at this bloody accordion of a thing. So you have the joints that pull out the shoulder from the back, like so. And then you also have these wing flaps right here as well. So you get like so much articulation with the shoulders and that makes sense because the man's a bloody swordsman. He should have a lot of uh, shoulder reach and articulation. But yeah, I just, I, I love this thing so much and we are going to do a very, very quick comparison with all the leaders of the Autobots that I currently have and only Autobots, no Maximals, um... So here he is with Optimus Prime. Good old OP. And here we have him with Hot... <laughs> I was going to call him Hot Rodimus. Rodimus Prime. And yeah, he's towers over both of them. Like, god damn. Of course, that's only when he's in his mech suit. In <laughs> normal times, he's about maybe yay big. He's a tiny commander. But we'll get to that in a couple of seconds here. So let's go off to the side. And to actually get Saber, we're going to... you know. So uh, actually, we'll do a very quick bit of articulation just for Star Saber himself. So head can look that far in both directions due to the gimmick that this guy has and we'll go over it when we talk about Saber himself he can look all the way up like he can look like that far up but that's a little daft because you can see the this crown of his uh his neck there so you just kind of leave it down shoulders can go or you get a full 90 degree bend at the shoulder there you get inward and also Outward movement at the shoulder, thanks to what I showed you earlier. Um, is there you get in and out as well of, uh, on the sides here, and you get two 
You get double jointed elbow, you get one there, and you get a ratchety one as well, which is nice. So you get a very nice double, double edge, the man cam bicep curl. You get fully rotating hands and any outie hands as well. You can open and close the hands, which is nice. And they do what Jet uh, Siege Jetfire does. So uh, you get the little uh, circular port that opens and closes there. You get to waist rotation and something that's really damn cool. You get a, be a, uh, a waist bend. The man can be ab crunch. That's the word. The man can ab crunch, my lord. This is amazing. Uh, legs can go out that far. Back. Mm, about that far. You get a decent knee bend and you get some toe movement. And you also get a wee bit of, you know, side to side with the ankles. Not much, but to be fair, the man's got thruster boots, so he's meant to be flying around. And some damn good ratchets, too. Like, my God. So, first thing you're going to want to do to retrieve Saber himself is to essentially just unplug the bastard, apparently. And, you know, have him playing around in big head mode. Yeah, so there is Saber. He is adorable. We'll put him off to the side, and we are going to transform other V-Star very quickly. So, all you're going to need to do for the V-Star, because it's actually pretty simple. So, actually, uh, you want to leave these tabs open here. And just for ease of opening, you open up these sides here. And then you collapse in the arms, collapse in the arms, rotate them back. And then what I like to do, I like to fold the hands in backwards. That way you get the, um, the back of the hand facing forward. So it just kind of leaves a, a flat surface. Do the same on the other side, like so, and then just kind of leave them out like that. Then you want to take the hip skirts and flip them up. Flip them up. There we go. Then you want to move at this hip, move it out. And then there is a little pin. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little pin right here. So you break his calf. Make it. Put it like that, and then you want to connect this hook into here. So you just want to make sure everything is collapsed like that, like so. And then you just do the same thing on the other side over here. Open up. Oh, no, no, that is completely the wrong thing to do. Why am I being a twit? Why, why, why am I twitting? Why, why am I being a twit? You just open it all up and then collapse it like so. And then you connect like that. Next up, you open up the back sections here. You collapse the big robot down into this thing of things, which is, I don't know what to call it. Yeah, so you just connect it like so. And then for the feet, you fold in the front bit, and then you just fold in the back, fold in the front, fold in the back, and then, you know, small little adjustments to the blocky wings, like that, and then you just bring this piece down like so, you, then you transform the helmet, so, flip the face up like so. Bring down the antennae, and then what I like to do is I just kind of like to turn them into a point. And then there you have other V lock, or sorry, the V star. In its, uh, I guess this would be like the, uh, the, I don't know, battle station mode, I guess. The V star mode. It's, it's a V star. <laughs> and I love this thing. We'll talk more about this in a second, but. Let's talk about Saber. So to get Saber into, uh, from, you know, chess mode into robot mode, all you're going to want to do 
is essentially bring down the legs here at the hips, open them up, and then you want to just kind of straighten out the legs. I find it easiest if you rotate it at the thigh, bring it down, and then bring it around like so. That's just the way that I find it easiest. And then what you do is you open up the entire back section and then you swing the leg around and then you just kind of close it all back up again. Fold in the uh, the wings however way you want. You can fold them backwards. I like to fold them forwards just because I'm weird like that. And then you just fold up the shin and there's that. And the other, like the tiniest problem that I have with this guy is, I don't know if you can see that, those are stress marks on this guy. I was so afraid when I first got this guy of, oh no, I can't have him in, um, in saber mode. I cannot have him in saber mode because of that. Yeah, luckily none have got any bigger and I have not had to worry about anything like that happening they actually feel a lot looser than when i first got them so that's nice but still super friggin tight so just watch out on uh for that when uh on your copies so again just open up bring the leg out i said bring the leg out come on saber bring it out clip it in like so and like so flip it over Flip it up, flip out the little footsie, and then you just grab the hand and kind of angle it over like so, like so. And yeah, here you have Saber in robot mode, and he's an adorable little guy. Isn't he cute? That is adorable. That is, that is so cute. He is cute. Here he is next to Optimus. Like I said, tiny, tiny leader class. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So for articulation, a lot of like the arms are ball jointed. So head again can only look only go about that far around for safety reasons. We'll go into that in transformation. Arms can go all the way out like so. So you can also get a suck at the Magnus. Arms can do a full 360 thanks to the ball joint. You get bicep swivel and 90 degree bend here at the knee. And because the hands are on a ball joint, you get a very nice wrist rotation. Ah, crap. Come on, you. Come on, you there we go. So he can actually hold. Oh, uh, I, <laughs> you get you surprisingly get another waist cr uh, waist crunch. Uh, helps a wee bit in transformation. You get a waist rotation. Not very helpful, unfortunately, but you can you know get some decent out moves out of it. Legs can go out that far, back that far, and you get ninety degree bend at the knee, as well as a wee bit of toe play. So that is wonderful. As I was saying, he can hold the shield, but it looks bloody massive in his tiny ass hands. Just plug it in like so, and yeah. Yeah, the shield is literally the same size as him. So, uh, screw that, it's a surfboard. Star Saber likes to, uh, likes to moonlight as a surfer. Yeah, so there's that. You can give him his rifle which looks incredibly big on him. I'm not going to lie. It's a little weird. And you can give him his, uh, I guess the, the shield, kind of. There we go. But yeah. I really like this guy. I think he's awesome. His colors are great. Um, but yeah, so uh, to transform this guy... What you're going to want to do is open up the chest, like so, not rip it off, but, you know, just be careful. Be very, very careful. Don't uh, don't break the fancy toy that you spent a lot of money on. 
And as you can see, there's a wee feller in there. Hello, wee feller. What are you doing in there? This, ladies and gentlemen, who do not know who Star Saber is, or do not know a lot about the lore, uh, this here is a brain master. Come on, you little bastard. Hey, so this little fucker right here is a brain master. I'm 30 minutes in, I can swear as much as I want now. <laughs> um, yeah, he is tiny as hell, and it's just an adorable little star saber. He is essentially just Star Saber as an incredibly tiny figure, and it's great. Uh, you can just see, as you can see, just the entire bloody head is uh, just visible back there, but I mean, that's fine. Um, for comparison, here is uh, here's the brand of courage. Here's a headmaster. Yeah. Brand of Courage. Brand of Courage. Brand of Courage. Head the master. Yeah. Yeah. So you take the uh, the brand of Courage. You uh, you bring him out and you kind of set him off to the side and remember where you put that. Remember where you put that. For the love of God. Now. You want to flip in the head, like so, and then close up the chest again. Then you rotate in the wrists, like so, and like so. Open up the wings a wee bit, just so that you have everything. You want to take out the uh, jet thingy, leave that out. Strain out the arms. You want to bring in the feet, like so, and like so. And then you want to collapse the knees together. I just do this for, um, just to make sure I can see everything. So you just want to collapse knees in like you're going into a uh, star saber mode. Come on. Come on. Click in. <sighs> you bastard. Oh, screw you. <laughs> you jerk. You want to do it in on the other side as well. Just like so. Like so. Click that in. Click that in. Collect the connect the legs together, and then you just want to bring in the arms like so. You're you're essentially just making him do the squat, essentially. Like that, that's it. And you know you bring out the uh, bring that up. You flatten out the wings like so, and then so it should look like this. And then you bring in the top section here, connect it together, open up the cockpit. Put in a little brain of courage, collapse it down, and here you have him in vehicle mode, and oh my god. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> he's just a tiny little jet, and for comparison, here I have him next to Starscream. Yeah. Yeah, like, so, like, tiny, tiny ass jet, but like, super cool looking. I love this little thing so much. It's so cute. It is so friggin' cute. I love it. But, um, yeah, so now we bring in a box. <laughs> no, now we bring in the V Star. And all you're gonna wanna do to fix or to uh, move this guy into V Star formation is you want to collapse the wings down forward. And normally you have the wings out like this. Now, I am not a fan of this. I do not know why. I just don't like it. So I fold the wings all the way over top here. So that when I connect the V-Star together with Star Saber, you get this badass looking motherfucker. <laughs> like, look at this. This is a beast of a jet. Um, who does also come with landing gear. Oops. Shite. Well... I ruined that, which pisses me off because I really liked that poster. God damn it. There we go. And there we go. There we go. I just do that and that. There we go. And here we can have him just kind of sitting like so. And he is massive. Massive, 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 massive. Like, 
Y'all remember the size I had for um for Victory Leo's <laughs> mode. Well, here's <laughs> mode next to the V-Star. And uh, yeah, is a jet. <laughs> is a jet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and here he is next to freaking Ultra Magnus. Yeah. 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 Why the hell didn't we get this guy in the movie? Screw Magnus. This guy should have been in the freaking movie. Would have kicked Starscream's ass and Galvatron's ass and... Hell, he probably would have kicked Rodimus' ass. You let Rodimus die, God damn it! <laughs> Slapping Rodimus around for the hell of it. <laughs> uh, I imagine that's what everybody wants to do to Rodimus. Poor bastard can't catch a break. But yes, what other thing? You can combine them. Yes, you can. So, uh, to combine both of these wonderful jets together, first you're going to want to... Lift up the back plate. Remove the V-Lock cannon. Uh, open up the back section here and fold in the connector ports. Close the legs up like so. And a little bit of cosmetic detail that I like to do. I like to arch the wings back. And then you bring old Leo Breaker. <laughs> Leo Breaker. Uh, then you bring old Lion Boy over here. I want to make sure that... So there are two grooves that he falls into. Not very well on my copy, but it's... Eh, it's whatever. And then you can... Uh, there are the two red uh, ports right here that uh, these two blue pieces will just kind of lock into. Like so. And here you have full effect victory uh, saber in vehicle mode and... Uh, Humana, 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 humana. Just lo look at this bloody thing. Like, this is beautiful. This thing is grand. I love it. I love this thing. Oh, so bloody much. I love it to bits. Where did I put Magnus? Ah. And then, because Magnus is apparently my scale bitch today. I'll just kind of move this up. Yeah. <laughs> he's big alright so let's um let's get into the real reason we're all here yeah victory saber so give me two seconds just to get uh this guy ready to roll and we'll be back in a flash alrighty so as you can see I just transformed star saber back and that's because there's going to be a lot of stuff we're going to need to do for Victory Leo here. So, all you're going to want to do for Leo is bisect the bastard. You wanted two pieces. Ugh. Shite, I can't believe I actually made that joke. Ugh. That was terrible. Anyway, you want to flip the line head back like so. Make sure that the uh, legs are just kind of faffing about, essentially. You just... I want to make sure that the legs are still connected. Like so, and like so. There we go, there we go. And you want to lift up the back panels here. And then flip around this whole back section. And because this port is 5mm compatible, here we have what I like to call, well, the beginnings of what I'm going to call Savage Wing Mode Optimus Prime. So, for those of you who remember when I did my review on uh, Cybertron, op or yeah, Transformers Cybertron Optimus Prime, I was talking about how Optimus had the combined mode with uh, both Leo Breaker and um, uh, Wing Saber. Now, I also said that I would have really liked it if you were able to combine both Wing Saber, Star Saber, Wing Saber, Optimus Prime, and Leo Breaker together to create what I called Savage, uh, Savage Wing Mode. Now with this guy, and um, I think I'm going to be using Transmutate, I will have an update video when I, you know, figure all the kinks out. But yeah, this, I, I love this. It's great. 
Thank you, Prime. You are amazing. I love you. And back to your hole. So you leave that over here, and then you take the entirety of his body, and you rip it in half. You want to bring out the foot, and bring out the foot, like so. Lay it flat. You want to break it at the minigun canister thingamafing. Bring it down, connect it into place, and then open up the little connector ports here, over there. Do the same thing on the other side, like so and like so. <clears throat> Break it, connect it, open, pop it, like so and like so. And for Star Zaber himself, all you need to do, flip in the toesies like you're going into vehicle mode, like so. And then you connect the feet. So the hooks will go in here and here. Just connect those. Connect those. Lock in place. And he is big and chunky. Donkey! <laughs> and then you grab the wing pack. And you connect it right here. So there are these two tabs that'll clamp onto uh, this power block here. And you click it on. For added sense of stability, you lock in the V cannons. I have no idea if that's what they're called, but that's what I'm calling them. And here we have Stilt Saber in. <laughs> Stilt Saber, that was stupid. Um, In Full on victory saber mode and uh yeah humana 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 that that old chestnut I'm gonna raise this up mm, no we're not I'm gonna get that there uh how the hell am I gonna show this off oh god likes all right so I'm gonna be standing for the rest of this I'm going to pull back and there we go. Ooh, ooh. Mm, there we go. Ooh. There we are. And for the true final comparison, here we have him next to a bloody combiner. So, uh, yeah, if, um, Death Saurus, or I like to call him Desaurus because I don't friggin' know, I just like the name Desaurus. Um, if Desaurus isn't, <laughs> like, this bloody <laughs> crazy, then holy shit, Taki Mushrooms, I'm gonna be disappointed. But, we have seen the photos even in Victory Saber Mode, Desaurus is huge. Big boy huge. Um, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> there's that. And to finish off the review, we're going to take a look at the flight stand. And yeah, it is an awesome flight stand. Perfect for victory. You also just get this. That's decent. And then you connect the uh, this little port right here. And you just connect it into his bunghole. Right here. The bunghole. That bunghole. I'm not going to do it because that just seems a little awkward. But yeah, um, I'm so excited. I, I love this thing. It is so much better than I thought. And like, like it was just as good as I hoped. And like, even more so. But yeah, so that is it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. This was a long ass video. And I will see you all tomorrow for a blitz. Goodbye, everyone, and, uh, yeah, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but, I mean, it's Victory Saber, so, uh, <laughs> let's say go! <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>